This giveaway starts at midnight July 21st and runs through midnight on July the 30th. For details, you can visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash glass or facebook.com forward slash gocellphonerepair and click on the giveaway tab. This is the glass liquid treatment for iPhone 6 and 6S. Apparently I was pronouncing it wrong before. It's not uh, gloss, it is glass. So what we're going to do, at least the plan, is to apply this to an iPhone 6. Why would you need something like this other than using a tempered glass screen protector? The problem with those is that if they go all the way to the edge, then you will tend to have problems unless you're using a very simple case. If you have something like this, it just snaps on the back, then it's not a problem. Your tempered glass will be fine. But if you got something that goes over the edge of the phone, it tends to put pressure on the glass. And if you get those types of tempered glass that don't quite go all the way to the edge, they just look kind of funny. And uh, oftentimes they will bubble up around the edge anyway. So what this is going to do is apply a liquid treatment. And just so you'll know up front, you will need to allow it to cure for up to 36 hours. They say 24 to 36. So make sure you have a spare phone or you don't need to worry about using your phone for that time period. Uh, technically, they say you can touch the screen after a minute, but obviously we want this to cure fully because it's supposed to last for up to a year. Now my plan is to apply it to this iPhone 6 screen and then hopefully we'll have enough left over to do a partial application on this iPhone 5 because I would really like to see the differences between the areas that are treated and the ones that aren't. So what we have to do is start out by making sure that we have a very clean surface. So I'm going to clean it once with a microfiber cloth and I'll clean this one when I, when I get to it. Oh, let's go ahead and do this one also. And from here, we'll get this out of the package. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so we have the glass liquid, alcohol pad, and another microfiber which we're going to use to buff out the screen afterwards. So I would probably try to save this one for when you get finished. And if you don't have something like this laying around, just about any type of clean cloth should do the trick, as long as it's not one that tends to cause lint to accumulate on the screen. We just want to make sure we have a nice clean screen to start with. We're going to apply the alcohol and then make sure that all of the dust is completely gone. And then we'll apply this and the trick is to make it go on in a uniform coat, fully cover the entire screen, and it should not bead up. If it does, if you do see beads on the screen, they say to go ahead and continue wiping it until they're gone. So I'm going to turn on another light and hopefully be able to see this a little better. So we'll get these opened up. Uh, so we're going to tear this. And I'm going to go over both of these with the alcohol. And then it's time for this. And I think we're going to need some scissors to open this up. Also, it says to let this sit for one minute. So I'll be timing it with my watch. Also says to make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after applying this. But well, that goes on pretty easy. Okay, we're definitely see some, seeing some beads here. So one thing I wanna do is hit about half of this screen. So like I said, I wanna see a comparison between a treated area and the non-treated area. So I'm only doing the upper half on the iPhone 5 and then we're going to continue spreading this around until all those beads are gone from the surface. See I've got something right here in the center. I'm not sure what that is. Hopefully I didn't do anything wrong but this should dry to a hazy appearance after you've got all this stuff off. Now it looks like we did have enough as far as I can tell. So we're going to let that sit for about a minute and then we'll come back and wipe it down again just to get that haze off of the screen. I'm not sure what that is. There's a spot and it may be something on my phone or 
maybe I didn't get that last little bit completely. Yeah, it looks like either I scratched it or there was something on my phone I didn't notice before. All right, so give that a minute. And now we should be able to just kind of wipe this stuff off. And now we should be well protected against scratches after 24 to 36 hours. So I'll be back once that time has elapsed. I am going to move these out of the way because this is going to be used for something else. I'll be back in 36 hours. So it's been about 36 hours since I applied the glass liquid screen protection treatment to my iPhone 6 and to part of this iPhone 5, and I'll show you why uh, in a while. So one thing that I didn't do was to use the included microfiber cloth to clean the screens. I actually used one that I had from the tempered glass that they sent me. I don't think that that will make any difference, but they do send you this little microfiber here to clean off the screen with. The first two things that I noticed were how much I missed using my Android phone because going back to an iPhone took some adjusting. I wish that they could get the applications and the interface to be more like Android, but that's just my personal preference. I also noticed how much worse my battery is now that I'm using a uh, Galaxy S6. It's just horrible. And the phone's actually not even as old as this iPhone 6, I don't think, but it just doesn't hold. This will get me through a day and the Galaxy will get me through about half the day if I'm lucky. So. I really wish that they would figure that one out. So on the surface, you can't really see much as far as a difference between the screen now, I don't think, and before when I applied the liquid protection. The glass screen protector hardens to 9H, which pretty much means that for most of the things that you'll have in your pocket, you should be well protected. Even if you had a piece of topaz in your pocket and it brushed up against the screen, it would not cause a scratch. However, if you were carrying a diamond in your pocket, then it would be able to scratch the screen. I'm not sure why you would be carrying either of those. And that's one of the reasons that I'm not a huge believer in the whole scratch testing. And here's why. If I have coins in my pocket, you can see that just like any other screen protector or tempered glass, you're pretty well protected from uh, coins scratching up and down against your screen with a reasonable amount of pressure. Now, here's where the problem comes in. Unless you're in a very controlled environment, it's hard to know exactly how hard someone is pushing down on the screen. Now, hardness or not, you can pretty much smash a diamond with a hammer, and that doesn't mean that the diamond isn't harder than the surface of the hammer, but it means that the pressure that is applied will eventually do damage to the surface. So, uh, for what it's worth, if you've got this in your pocket and you have a bunch of coins rubbing around on it, it's not going to be a problem. Of course, if I really tried to, I'm sure that I could put a line through the screen if I push down hard enough, but I'm not going to do that. Unfortunately, I really couldn't see a big difference between the area that was treated and the area that wasn't treated on this iPhone 5, which is sort of good news because that means you won't be able to see anything on the surface that looks out of the ordinary. But even under the microscope, I couldn't see a difference between where it was applied and where it wasn't. So it doesn't really make um, sense for me to show you that. It, it pretty much looks the same. And what it did reveal though, is that both of these screens, before I treated them, do in fact have scratches on the glass that aren't even visible to the naked eye. So you have to put it under a microscope and you can see that there are a few scratches already there. So hopefully the glass will protect this from any future use and abuse. And after a year, of course, you will have to reapply it. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.